Rick Murray treats his life. It's got a lot of pieces. It's a big bike. Like the motorcycles and cars in it. We're doing the Aztec calendar. Custom. Full custom. I don't like normal cars at all. From his daily driver. Candy apple red with pagan gold. To his better half's wheels. My wife's car, 63 olds. All customized and hand painted himself. Weird like me <laughs> the frankenstein in his driveway is one of his current projects the white part is the moving truck back half is a suburban and no matter what he creates when people see it i want him to say oh that crazy rick built that and he's built a lot low riders trucks hot rods the fun's over once they're they're completed building up his own family-owned company and his own reputation and i got a pretty good name in the industry because of the craziness. Collecting plenty of hardware along the way. Easy, 300 trophies. And that's just from one of his cars. Pretty much anywhere people know and have heard of crazy creations. But after four decades in the business, even the craziest creator One loves today. takes his foot mm -hmm. off the gas. Now that I got older, I wanted to go at a slower speed, enjoy my horses and, and enjoy life. Gotta wait your turn. He moved to Adams County. I have four horses, one donkey. Got a quote, mini pig. Hi, Shorty. You're not so mini anymore. <laughs> and semi-retired. I'm at a point in my life that I want to do something different. And for the local king of customs. Off the first shape, I'll start feeding off of it. It had to be very different. I'm gonna paint toilet seats and sell them. And it was a big joke at first with my wife and my daughter. This legendary car builder found a new canvas. I don't know why. I don't understand it. I, I, it was just something that got under my skin one day. The skill is pretty much the same. Yeah, this is airbrushing. It's definitely freehand. The creativity is also there. You're just kind of winging it as you go. And the finished product? So it's pretty cool. I mean, they're different. Different, sure, but Raiders? Because <laughs> I have friends that are hardcore Raider fans. But as odd and eccentric as these things are. Turned out there's a market for them. People want custom, one-of-a-kind lids for their loo. These are all of them. I have three people here that want to buy it. The bathroom business is booming. They're like $19, $20 for the toilet seat. Then I try to sell them for $220 just to make $200. Which, as he explained to his doubting daughter... 25 toilets is $5,000. <laughs> That's pretty damn good for toilet seats, I think. Rick knows he'd make more on a custom car or motorcycle, but where's the fun in that? What well, good's the money if you're not having fun? After all, the nickname Crazy Rick didn't come from fitting the mold. To me, art's art. Toilet seats are just something that's different. And there's no end to this version of crazy in sight. So I'm gonna do a toilet next. In Adams County, I'm Jason Grenauer. The most important thing is I have a cool toilet sitting in somebody's man cave or house. Denver 7.